In this question, we have to solve the given equation on the interval where x is between 0 and 2 pi. The previous question part is a show that question part, which is almost always a hint that we can use the given result on following question parts. Doing so, we replace sine 2x plus cosine 2x minus 1 with the expression that we did use in question part a. So we can write that 2 sine x multiplied by cosine x minus sine x plus cosine x minus sine x is equal to 0. In our next step, we'll factorize. We say that here we have cosine x minus sine x, and we have the same expression here. Therefore, we can factorize cosine x minus sine x, and from the first term, we have 2 sine x left, while from the second term, we simply get plus 1. This is equal to 0. The product of the two expressions in the parentheses is 0, so using the null factor law, we can write that cosine x minus sine x is equal to 0, or that 2 sine x plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's continue working with these two equations. Rearranging the first one, we get that sine x over cosine x is equal to 1, and using this equation from section 3.5 of the formula booklet, we get that tangent x is equal to 1. To find the possible values of x here, we'll consider the unit circle. Tangent x is 1, where sine x is equal to cosine x. The two such positions on the unit circle are here and here. We are looking for a solution on the interval where x is between 0 and 2 pi. When we are looking for an angle on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi, we can say that 0 is here, pi over 2 is here, pi is here, 3 pi over 2 is here, and 2 pi is once again here. Based on this, the two positions that correspond to tangent x equals to 1 are when x is pi over 4, or when it is 5 pi over 4. So the two solutions that we get for x from this equation are pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Next we'll work with the other equation, so 2 sine x plus 1 equals to 0. Rearranging, we get that sine x is equal to negative 1 half. Remember that sine x is the y-coordinate of the points on the unit circle, so sine x is equal to negative 1 half at this position and at this position. In the first position, the angle is 7 pi over 6, and in the second position, it is 11 pi over 6. So the two solutions for x that we get from this equation are 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. So as you can see, the entire question has four solutions. Let's see a tip to maximize your marks on similar questions. This question part carries six marks, and it is definitely difficult to earn all of these marks. This might discourage you from even trying the question. My tip here is that even though it is usually difficult to get full marks on questions that carry lots of marks, it is still worth trying because you can often easily earn at least a few of the marks. Here, for instance, if you manage to factorize and get to either sine x over cosine x equals to 1 or sine x equals to negative 1 half, you have already earned 3 of the 6 marks. 